So LXD is made by Canonical. Uh, Canonical are the parent company of Ubuntu. They make some uh, fantastic projects like Ubuntu Desktop, um, like MicroKates, uh, and lots of others. I they're mainly the distro that I go to. I really like Debian-based distros, and Ubuntu it is just it installs really well. I quite like snap packages. I know there's quite a lot of people against them, but I actually quite like them. The ease of use is, is brilliant. Um, so for this little demo, what I've actually done, uh, I'll try and get a photo or something up of what I've got this running on, but I've got a Latte Panda Delta. Let me just show you the device first. Uh, It's, it's a really small device that I picked up uh, on eBay for like, I don't know, £60 I think it was. Uh, and it was kind of perfect for the, these small things that I needed to do. Uh, it's got a, what type of CPU is it? It's an N3105 I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's this little device. And it's got an N3105 or N400 CPU and 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of eMMC uh, as well as a 500 gig uh, SSD. So what I've done is I've just installed a vanilla copy of Ubuntu on that and to get started with this project I'll just pull up my terminal and it goes something like this. So it's a really quick install. It's sudo after you've done the updates after you've upgraded it's just sudo snap install lxd dash dash edge which is <laughs> the bleeding edge version and then after that it's lxd init and then you go through these questions pretty much default just press enter all the way down until you get to do you want to make the web ui do you want to make the ui accessible on the network here so that's one of the only questions you answer and it's yes i also selected 200 gig so they're just they're the two answers that I give, and the rest were all uh, default. The uh, what I'll do is I will put these commands and everything uh, in the description below. It's quite straightforward. And then once all that was done up to this part, I could access the web UI, which is here. So once you've accessed the web UI, you have to go back to. Uh, it gives you some instructions on the web UI and the instructions are to run a couple of commands in the terminal. Uh, the command is LXE auth group permission add admin server admin and then uh, a similar command and it will ask you to then copy this starting from here and paste it in the browser. Once that's done you're ready. Uh, if anyone gets stuck, I will make a full guide on this, but it's about six commands. Uh, if you're kind of familiar with Linux, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so that's why I didn't feel there was a full guide needed. But if anyone is stuck, I, I will make it. Uh, and this is the new web UI that, that they've released. Now, I really do think this is going to be vital for small installations, um, or sometimes when you just don't need a lot of the overhead that say Proxmox and other things have, you could use an LXD uh, and run containers. Uh, you can imagine LXD is a similar con similar technology to, to Docker. It containerizes um, instances and then you can use them from there. So, but this also supports graphical uh, user interfaces and it does use QEMU. Now, the creator of LXD, if you go to YouTube and type in LXD, I uh, actually did a full video on this, which I will link below. Uh, and in this, he's also showing the graphical user interface. You can also do GPU pass-through. So this really does enhance what what LXD can do um, with GPU pass-through. And then you could run something like MicroKates or um, some other projects within that within the LXD uh, UI. So let me go back. So this is just an instance that I've got running up an LXC, which is a container. Uh, yeah, and go to instances. And I've also uh, just started a VM. So this was pretty straightforward. 
it was just create instance um, I give it a name say u3 and then go to browse images and then if you want desktop you just type desktop and that will bring up the desktop images if you want to have uh, a container you can just collect uh, select the Ubuntu uh, noble and then create and style and that will then start the instance you can also change some other things like there you can add GPUs you can change the disk size the memory limits um, so I think for the other one I've added a few limits to this as well so it's very similar to the virtualization um, let me go back to these instances and I'm going to launch this I think so just down here if it moved me out of the way it's an instance started and then I'll click on this so it's given me the memory that's currently using um, and then the console so this is now booting so yeah th this really does have some huge potential I've been waiting for this for quite a long time um, I knew uh, when I started using the technology I knew that this was the avenue that they're going to go down um, for loads of reasons and canonical again do some amazing uh, projects it's using QEMU so it's very similar to what you would have in Proxmox it's just a different UI different way of doing things slightly um, so yeah I'm really chuffed about this project and I wanted to share it with you uh, and let you just let you play around with it and see what you think as well um, so get back to me and it's been fantastic I'll see you in the next one uh, I'm gonna make a longer video in my next video uh, I've got a few things that I really want to talk about and I'm gonna try and get the camera off the stand and uh, get that sorted so yeah i'll see you very soon